Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. I want to officially introduce you guys to Cairo. And Cairo is my little girl. She is the Otilly Sculpt. She's a sold out edition um, by Cassie Brace. You know what, I never really looked at the edition number. Let's see what, what number she was on the certificate. However, Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the the notification squad. And if you guys would please like this video. Like, like, share, and comment. That's how you support the channel for free. Um, but if you want to go a step further and you want to support this channel even more, and you can do that by joining the Chatterbox membership, which is $4.99 to join. And you do have to be at least 18 years old. Okay, so. Such a cutie beauty duty. This is actually Otilly 367 out of 500. All right. So. Small edition, sold out edition, pretty cool, love it, came with a lot of personal items, um, hmm. anyway, <laughs> from the sculptor, so This is, like I said, this is this little girl. And she left. When she left, she was bald. She came back to me. She had hair. And I basically bought this baby back. Um, I talk about it in my live stream. If you go to my tab and click live, you'll, you'll be able to see the live where I officially, originally, <laughs> officially, originally revealed her. And you will see... Um, the little story line of, you know, her coming back. But last night I put her here in this little, little ponytail here and did her hair, put her in um, her PJs. And this is what she looks like. So, let's see. And I, I love that she has the curly hair. But yeah, she is definitely one of my favorite babies that I had painted. So I was, I'm still so happy that I actually got her back. Um, and she looks so different with hair. Like, it's so crazy. Because I was like, boy, boy, boy. And then now it's like, no, she's all girl. I can, um, I can still make her as a boy, but... I think I'm going to keep her as a girl because I need some girls and I need some, you know, cute clothing options and stuff. And I want to be able to, you know, play in her hair with a boy. Kind of limited. I mean, I could still put little, like, pigtails in boy heads because with uh, most black babies, the little boys, until they're up to a certain age before we cut their hair, we will, like, make these little square little ponytails or we'll plait it down or braid it um but I like I just like her as a girl so I'm gonna leave her as a girl and I was debating like Cairo you know should Cairo be a boy you know only a boy name but I like Cairo as a girl and it fits in with everything else that I have, the other names that I have going on. So I'm going to keep her name as Cairo. And I should have put her on a onesie under here, but I didn't. Um, I weighted her head last night as well. I just, and this baby actually posed pretty, pretty cool too. I, I love, I I'm telling you, I this is one of the babies that I instantly connected with when I painted the baby. And then I, I let myself get in my head. I start, you know, 
feeling some type of way about the kit because the kit has such a big head and because she didn't have no hair back then um it just really bothered me more but now that she has hair oh my gosh and that was my thing too i only really sold her because i didn't feel like i was gonna be able to get her rooted and no time soon and i was just like frustrated but now that she has hair oh my god like i love her so much look at this baby oh my gosh and i know i'm going on and on as if i didn't paint this baby but i don't know sometimes i just you know i really love my work and sometimes it's like mm, this ain't the one this ain't it um but i don't know i just really loved her so I just wanted to share her. We're going to get off of here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to take her out of this outfit. Let's have a little hair. And she does have still have a little swirl in the back of her head. I don't know if you guys can you see. That's a swirl. I don't know the person who rooted her because I forgot um, originally who... Um, my customer says she used for rooting but she did a fabulous job and i love this hair and i would love to know what curly mohair this is if i could get some of this oh my god because it does she has tight curls baby curls and i would love to put that in one of my silicone babies so but i'm, I'm sure that a lot of people don't like to share their sources and i get it because it's such a hard time finding hair nowadays um especially curly hair um so you know some people don't want to tell their source because that just limit how much they'll you know have available for them when they get ready to buy so i get it and so i you know i'm not gonna press the issue but if anyone shall want to share <laughs> please feel free to leave it in the comments or private message me um because i would love to know and um yeah so thank you once again thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you to the mommy that allowed me to buy her back i am so grateful and i would <laughs> like to say like i said on my facebook post if you guys are on my personal uh facebook page uh profile page it says i was saying that um uh, at least you know I won't sell you a baby that I won't buy <laughs> because you know this is only my second time buying back my work um but yeah I just that's just you know me now I want to also see if anything I'm gonna change I don't have the light on in here I just have my white natural lights on her so I'm gonna turn my other light on. I don't know why over time the bulb, it's a lifetime bulb, but it's turned more yellowy. So I'm gonna see if it changes her coloring. It does a little bit, doesn't it? Did it change it a little bit? I mean, she looks a little different to me in the natural eye when that yellow light come on. It makes her look more yellow. But anyway, um, I don't know. I don't have my handy dandy guy anymore that that and put those that light fixture up for me but we'll see if I get someone else in here I'm gonna I may possibly huh, my dream one day is to have like studio lights installed in my ceilings <laughs> yeah. oh that would be amazing but I don't have that kind of money to be doing all that extra stuff so we right now we're gonna have to rely on the natural light, which I have the windows open, but it is so dreary and so dim outside. So, but anyway, I have to go. I will catch up with you guys later because I have to go take care of some business and I will see you guys in another video. But this is Cairo and hopefully she is here to stay this time.